Older than the Tour de France and regarded as Australia's toughest one-day cycling race, the Melbourne to Warrnambool is a beast. It takes somewhere between seven and nine hours to finish. That's several marathons back to back. There's no time to stop. There's a lot of carnage. It's had a history as long as the winding road to Warrnambool with plenty of landmark moments along the way. I finished the race. It was over 270 kilometres long. I was the only female amongst a field of some 200 men. 126 years since it began, the gruelling race is about to hit another first with its inaugural women's race. Some of Australia's best riders have made the dais. Um, they've gone on to forge international careers overseas. And so when you think about that backdrop, that's what we're providing for women now. The women's race will start in Colac and run about half the traditional distance along the route to Warrnambool. The difference will be the kilometres, uh, no other difference. It will have equal prize money, it will follow the same course. It's also among the first elite races in the world organised by an all-women executive. And in years to come, we won't be talking about gender. We'll be talking about the executive team. The Melbourne to Warrnambool race isn't the only one trying to boost the profile of women's cycling on the world stage. The world famous Tour de France has also unveiled a new race for women in 2022, which it hopes will become a permanent fixture on the women's world tour calendar. Incredibly grateful for so many people that have come before me who have paved that way and that we get to stand on their shoulders and, and be a part of this event. It's taken more than a century, but these cyclists are hoping to write a new chapter in the history book. Rio Davis, ABC News, Melbourne.